Hey guys, how's it going? This is going to be a startup walk around and end of tour of the Q5. So, this is the key, a newer Audi key. You have lock, unlock, trunk, and panic. I think it's keyless entry. If you believe it, I should open. Very interesting door handles. They go like on the side. Your S badge and a black letter interior. This one only has 2,700 kilometers. Here's the key. Put the brake in and push the button. All windows are fully automatic. And you do have a four or three spoke letter wrap steering wheel. And this transmission is an automatic transmission. Here's park, reverse, neutral, and drive. I'm not gonna shift it today. You have an Audi digital cockpit, and you use these dials to adjust it. It's pretty nice. You have a very nice size touchscreen. I don't like where the volume knob is placed, like it's in a bad spot. Heated seats, air conditioning, it's a pretty nice system. It has a fully like actual display and like the other ones don't really. Your hazard light, and your AC vents. Let's do an exterior walk around. The headlights are automatic. And the car will chime when the doors open. Do an exterior walk around. There's a car coming, so I'm gonna wait. So it's a nice car. You have LED headlights, turn signals. See the grill is chrome, Audi logo. Here are fog lights. Oh, this doesn't have them. There's a camera though. Here's your Krugen Premium 235-55 R19. I'm not gonna open the hood either today. You have LED turn signals. I like how this car looks. Here are the sequential turn signals. Audis have this. Very neat. Push this trunk. It's a quattro. One thing I do hate is the fake exhaust seats fake. And there's the real ones down there. Here's our gas cap right over here. Now the rear's locked. Do that later. Oh, yeah, these LED lights look really good. All right, your driver and passenger has power seats. There's our child walk, your mirrors, your trunk right there. Just put it back to auto. Your paddle shifters, I'll let a wrap steering wheel. Here's your cruise control. And here's a wireless charger under here. And USB-C port. Two cup holders. They are very small. Key storage here or here. A couple ways to store your key. A USB-A port, cigarette lighter, your drive modes. Put it in dynamic mode. I think that's a sport mode. I'm not gonna go in depth. This is a dual zone climate control. Here's our glove box, pretty spacious. This is Quattro all wheel drive. Make sure the rear's open. All right, it's open. So here's the back seat. You have carpeted floor mats, little storage right over here. That's a pretty big spot, actually. I'm sure, it can fit a big bottle. The driver and passenger seat spot is a little bit smaller. All right, the center console's up right now. There's two cup holders. A latch or something. These seats are very comfortable. And you have two nets of storage spaces. Very nice. Air conditioning back here. 
and a 12 volt outlet and USB-C ports. This is gonna be a short review, I apologize. Cause I do have to, this is just a short trip. So I don't have a lot of time to do a long review. You have chrome accents right over here. Push this, trunk opens, power tailgate. You have a lot of room back here. You open this to the side or tire or tire repair kit in here. You push it, you can close it and lock it. A storage net, I'm not going in depth on that. You have a Quattro badge. And you have chrome roof racks. You have LED signal mirrors. And that's gonna conclude my review. Here's a quick image of the engine. All right. So thank you guys for watching. And I hope you enjoyed my review. That'll be it. Goodbye.